Now, within our world, there is a lot of evil. And if you dig up and research things online, it's pretty much endless about all the evil and the conspiracies that are within our world. But I noticed how the devil moves is that he moves it through three different playing fields. Now, there are many different playing fields that Satan has, but I'm going to cover three main areas. And I notice that people, when you start to study the evil in this world, you're going to fall into one of these three areas, which is used by Satan. And you don't want to fall into this trap where Satan catches you. This is why it is very important to attend a Bible-believing church, because that way you can get the right focus. Okay, so let's cover the three main areas where Satan uses, where he corrupted our whole world. So our whole world has been corrupted by the devil. That's why the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, that in whom the God of this world had blinded the minds of them. So he is the God of this world, the Bible says. So how did he control all the kingdoms of this earth? You look at the book of Matthew chapter 4. Satan said, all this, these kingdoms, they were given to me, and I can hand it over. So how did he control all, all of this world? I'll, I notice that it is done into three main ways. Let's look at something that's private. Mystery. So the three evils that I see are the ones that are in private form, in mystery form. Let's look at 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. Notice that the Antichrist is known in verse 7 for the what? Mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed. So the Antichrist... He will be publicly known, but first he comes down as a mystery. And why is that? Because in order to corrupt our world, you need to come through in a hidden form. And the one who paves the way for this is definitely Catholicism. So the Vatican. If you study the plane of elites, you're going to see Catholicism all over. And then what you're going to also notice is that a lot of Masons are as well involved. And these consist within our world concerning the elite system. So that when you go through the elites right here, this would fail to include all the guys such as uh, CFR and then Bilderbergers and then all these other committees and uh, forms of elites. The banks, Hollywood, Clintons, uh, different presidents, Bushes. Uh, skull and bones, etc., etc., etc. There goes all your branches of the elites. But then what you'll see mostly involved are two main religions, Catholicism and Masons. And what's very interesting is that you're going to see a group of people involved as well called Jews. Jews are heavily involved in this as well. So within these religions uh, and these groups of people, they come in a mystery form that you cannot tell. So then Christians who vote for Republican and then they go against the abortion issue. And then what do they do when they try to team up against liberalism and atheism? They will team up with Catholics. In a new Bible translation that is always produced, you will see a Jesuit involved or some Catholic organization. Look at major Christian denominations and organizations and you will see a Jesuit or a Catholic involved in that. And then if you look at all the rich elites over there with bankers and then the Hollywood system and then really rich billionaires, millionaires, and then their secret clubs, you're going to see Jews and masonry heavily involved in that. And then you're going to, if you want to go by secret societies, it's not just Masonic clubs, you will also see the Knights of Malta, Knights of Columbus, Club of Rome, etc., etc. So Catholics and Masons are very heavily involved, and then a nationality group, Jews, are also involved in this. As a matter of fact, what's very interesting is that uh, one chief rabbi mentioned about Judaism that it's very intertwined with Masonry, he'll say. And which is no surprise if you study in your Bible about the Pharisees and Sadducees, their religion was a Babylonian form, and actually that's historically proven. That's not a secret. Even liberal schools are trying to push that ideology that your Old Testament was mingled with Babylonianism, Babylon stuff, 
Why? Because it was very widespread, the Jewish religion of the Sanhedrin mixing up with pagan Babylon. And if you know pagan Babylon, it is Catholic in form with Semiramis and Nimrod. Concerning the worship of Mary, that's Semiramis. And then Nimrod or Tammuz, it would be the baby Jesus. So all of this is in a private mystery form. You look at all the big shot news that is brainwashing society today, and then you'll see secret clubs behind it. Now, the, pu the next form is public. There is a public form of evil, which a lot of Christians know and they're trying to fight against. And the public form of evil is going to be referring to a lot of liberalism. This is the key that is dominating our world. And liberalism, what they are, is that they support a Muslim agenda as well as they support a homosexual agenda and then they'll support an atheist agenda. So this consists of a lot of liberalism today. So this is what's also very interesting is that liberalism, it is anti-Israel and anti-Christian. Now, this is the success of Satan. You ready for this? This is the success of Satan. The success of Satan is that because this is public knowledge where it is anti-Israel and anti-Christian, that's why Christians and then Orthodox or conservative form of Jews, they will be joining this private mystery form of evil. And I guarantee you will see a Catholic or a Mason or some elite involved in that private mystery form. I guarantee it. You will see a connection somewhere. You cannot escape it. You cannot escape this fact. Why? Because we're all attacking this. Because this is public. This is seen. But this one is private and mystery. So Christians don't know. So because of that, they're, uh, because they want to attack this kind of left-wing liberalism that's spreading, they're going to be uh, going for the Republicans, they're going to be going for Ben Shapiro, and all these champions out there who are trying to attack the left-wing agenda, uh, they will go with Fox News who attack the left-wing agenda, but uh, Fox News, my friend, is dominated by Catholics, and that's not actually a private mystery form. Yeah. That is publicly known. So, Satan's goal is to promote two forms of evil. So then, by promoting the Muslim agenda, then they support Israel. But then when they support Israel, then they go to where it goes to a Zionist organization form. And then when you go deeper into it, I'm not saying all Zionists are evil, but when you go deeper into it, then you're going to be like John Hagee, and then you're going to support some elite somewhere in a Zionist agenda. Why? Because Satan wants to cover all bases. You got to realize if whether you're left wing or right wing, it doesn't matter. It's just the right wing of Satan and the left yeah, wing of the yeah, devil, and then on. and all devils have wings. So you got to realize that fact. So Satan, what he wants to do is this: is that he will find anything good out there that he can use to take advantage of. Now let me give you a great example. Just because because so many churches know about liberalism attacking Christians. That's why they'll be supporting this private mystery form of a Catholic satanic form where they attack Bible-believing Christians. And they'll call Bible-believing Christians extremists. You know what they're aiming for, my friend? They are targeting King James only. Fundamentalists. How many times have you seen this term used by the public liberal news media? And then the Christians, they're trying to say, we are not this bunch right here. We are not extremists. We don't believe in a King James only. They try to find some uh, ragtag rogues out there who use the King James Bible and who uh, try to attack the homosexual agenda, but then they go as so far as to give a hatred form, and by promoting this hatred form, they disgrace the name of Bible-believing Christians, and that's the third group Satan is using. You're a rogue and a rebel. 
these are people who are sick of both of these things. And because they're sick of both of these things, in a private mystery form, these people, they're just softies. They're not going for it. They're not all the way in the Bible. So then these rogues and rebels, they will go out in street preaching, and then they will deliberately stir up controversy where they look at all women who wear short shorts and call them whore, 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 and then every homosexual saying fag and queer, fag and queer, and then these people will deliberately stir up controversy, and then the liberal news media, Satan takes advantage of that, where the liberal news media demonizes them as fundamentalists. But you got to realize this, the term fundamentalist is not used in a liberal twisted form as some extremist rogue rebel group. Fundamentalist was a term, this is known in history, early 1900s. A group of churches were sick of the ecumenical movement that the churches were following into this private mystery form. The ecumenical movement, whether it be conservative, is following a Catholic agenda. You will see that. And so because of that, these churches were sick and tired of it, and then they called it the fundamentals of faith, and they were called fundamentalists. The denomination that cited this the most were Baptists. And when I mean Baptists, I mean independent Baptists, Baptists who are not tied to an organization. Because the Baptist organization has fallen into this private mystery form. So... <laughs> Independent Baptists fell into this category of fundamentalists, and they were known for championing the King James Bible. So Satan, in order to attack this group right here, then he raised up these rogues and these rebels. And these rogues and these rebels have the audacity to take this term and apply it to themselves. So then these rogue and rebel, they would like to use the term like new independent fundamental Baptists. Why? Because we're the new form that's resurrecting this old form. No, you're just, you're just a disgrace. Amen. You're an aberration, man. You're an abomination to this movement. This new form that comes out saying that I'm glad that homosexuals died that day when you guys are just full of the devil realizing that the Lord is not willing that any should perish yeah. but Amen. that all should come to repentance. Amen. That is full of wickedness and evil. Not only that, what's very interesting about this rogue and rebel group is that they have a, because they studied both of these things, they're sick of this liberal agenda publicly, and they studied the conspiracies of all this private uh, nonsense that's going on. That's why they go to a format where they are now post-trib, or they are, let's put, anti-pre-trib, because... They believe that it is their job to fight the Antichrist system. Whereas Bible-believing, independent fundamental Baptist Christians, we, you got to understand this. Our history is that we are pre-tribulation. We believe we will be raptured before the tribulation. So all this evil that's going on, we don't have to worry about it. You know why? Because the Antichrist, it's inevitable. He's going to take over the world. You're not going to change that. You know who's going to change it? Jesus Christ himself at the end when he comes down in Armageddon and sets up his kingdom on the earth. So what does it matter gathering up all your guns, saving up your money? We're going to go through the tribulation. Let's fight the Antichrist. Look, that's what Satan wants you to do because he wants you to, wants you to divert your attention away from our history. Our history, you must understand, was this. It was always souls. Look at the Great Awakening revivals. That's why independent Baptists came out eventually from this group. It was referring to souls. We were busy spreading missions, trying to win souls to Jesus Christ. And that's what you're going to find about this church. I am glad that uh, a lot of people out there who study the private evil and the conspiracies, that they encourage me on my stance for Jesus Christ. But you got to understand this. That is not the main goal of my ministry right there. My main goal of the ministry is to promote people to serve God Amen. with their lives. Amen. I could care less about who's going to take over the world and who's going to take over the next presidency of the United States. You know why? Because the Antichrist is going to take over the world inevitably. What are you going to do? Right? You're, what are you going to do? You're not going to do anything about it. So we are pre-tribulation. Why? Because we believe that Jesus has to solve the problem, Amen. not us. Amen. 
So let them take away everything, you know, because why? Because blessed are ye when you are persecuted for righteousness sake anyways. Amen. So they are anti-pre-trib. That's another thing. And what you're going to find out is that they are anti-churches. So because they are anti-churches, they're going to be very nitpicky where they're going to go to a 501c3 issue or if the church has been uh, helping out through certain organizations and programs where they were ministering to souls and trying to help out poor people. And then they're going to try to connect that to some kind of conspiracy out there. And by doing that, you are minimizing the church's efforts in trying to win souls to Jesus Christ. You got to understand this is that there are times and situations like, look, if you have a prison ministry, do you think the chaplain is going to be a Bible-believing Christian? No. What are you going to have to do? You're going to have to be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove, and you're going to have to do it in a way where it does not compromise your doctrine and teaching, but you're going to have to meet up and compromise everything else. As long as you don't compromise your doctrine and belief, you got to play the game. You know why? Because you're in Satan's playground. And it's going, that's why Jesus said, wise is a serpent. You know why? Satan is a sly serpent. And you got to be slyer than the devil. Paul said, I caught you craftily with guile. Why do you think I post this stuff online? Because I got to be that serpent, crafty with guile. Why do you think they didn't kick me out yet? Because I have to be crafty with guile, okay? You know why? YouTube, Google, Facebook, and all that, it's owned by a private mystery evil form these elite systems there are uh you don't want to attack uh, muslim jews and homosexual in your plain title and they're going to f and they're going to hunt you down and they're going to kick you out now did i compromise no i actually speak out against the false beliefs but i'm crafty with that okay i'm not dumb and stupid i'm not dumb and stupid that's the rogue and the rebel uh method but Satan uses these three groups because to divert your attention from this sort of group that we come from. And you got to understand this. What's sad about this movement, this movement is even falling into apostasy. You know why? Because they lack doctrine. They lack doctrine. So it is, that's why, why do I teach this uh, deep stuff about the conspiracies and demonic things going on because that's deep doctrinal stuff and if you're not going to teach it the false churches will yeah. they'll teach it uh why do i talk about dispensationalism make a big deal about dispensational salvation because if you fail to do it these false churches and these rogues and rebels and even the liberals they'll steal your members why do you think churches are mourning so many of our young people becoming millennial and liberal simple because you're not feeding them doctrine you got to implant them, make them realize why they have to come to this church, why they have to avoid the world, not just talk about it. Got to make them believe why. Because if you're not giving doctrine, the liberal schools will give their doctrine. And it's doctrine that changes a person's mind. That's the public evil. Oh, by the way, I forgot one more thing. This rogue rebel group is also anti-Israel. Why? Because they see Jews involved in this. But the simple answer is this. My friend, it's not just Jews, it's even Christians as well. Yeah. So you're going to reject Christianity then? <laughs> you're going to demonize all Christians? Here's the simple answer to this one. You've got to realize this. If you look at God's chosen people at the Old Testament, they were still called God's chosen people when they were sacrificing their children to Baal. Yeah, that. Wow. You know why? Because it doesn't matter if you're God's chosen people or you're not. Anyone is capable to be used by the devil if you're not careful. You can be a disciple of Jesus like Judas Iscariot. And Judas Iscariot is going to be resurrected as the Antichrist. Didn't you know that? John 17, 2 Thessalonians 2. See, it doesn't matter. That's why I'm telling you, man. Satan will use anybody. So... The best thing to do, what's the solution then? There's so much evil, Pastor. What do I got to do? I'll tell you what you need to do. Join an independent fundamental Baptist church that teaches right doctrine. And we promoted that so many times. I'm glad people have inquired and asked me. Please do so. 
Uh, I think our website's finally back up. So hey, the if you look at uh, the resources tab underneath our video, follow the directions, it'll get you into a church. Remember this, not every church is perfect, not even ours, okay? Because we're all sinners saved by grace. But I'll tell you what, I, I prefer to hang around the best sort of movement rather than these movements right here. And that's what Satan will use you for if you're not careful. Okay, so this is the evil that generates throughout all our world. You go to news media, you go to CIA, FBI agencies, you go to television Hollywood, you go to schools, you go to the Muslim, uh, the uh, Palestinian conflict with Israel and the Muslims, and then you go to banker system, you go to rich millionaires and billionaires, and guess, guess what? They're all intertwined with Satan's system. It doesn't matter. That's why, what do you do? You just only go by the Bible. Stick around this group and you'll be fine.